photography for about eight years. I started off mainly as a walker. I did my first walk up on Kinderscat and after that I kind of knew I had to buy a, a DSLR really to record my memories in the moment so for when I was older that I'd remember them. So I, we've come up Kinderscat again. Um, it's one of my favourite hills in the Peak District because it's it's sort of like the only one of the only mountains that we've got. We've started down at Barber Booth and then we've yeah. headed over to have a bit of explore at the Wolf Packs, which is a really cool place, lots of gritstone formations. Uh, and we're currently just a bit further along at Pimchir. So I've been using View Ranger for a few months. I've always used a mixture of paper maps and digital maps uh, and found some newer programs quite buggy. I use it for for route planning on the iPad if I'm out and about or even on the PC. I like looking at ordinate survey maps anyway. I, I have to always try and find the most linear route in a way to where I need to be because it's always really quick and I've usually got to come down afterwards. When I'm walking I use it for reference so I'm the GPS is great just to check that I'm on the right path. You know if you come to a fork you're not quite sure it's always good just to just double check you're going the right way but it does help me get up you know the quickest time possible really. So I've actually been able to test the app with the new skyline feature was really good um, in Snowdonia and the lakes and stuff if I'm in that kind of area it's really good just to be able to pan around and if there's hills I'm unfamiliar with especially in places like Wales where you're not quite sure on how they spelt and stuff it is really good to look over point of mountain and you've got them for reference later when you actually post the photo you can actually say what you've been looking at uh, landscape photography is, uh, is the main thing I do really that's kind of what I enjoy and I think you've got to kind of enjoy your photography for it and to be good photos you've got to have a passion about your subject and if you don't have that I think it's sort of your photos kind of lack something but that's just my personal opinion I like that feeling of being out somewhere quite remote and being the only person to kind of be witnessing that moment in time on that particular hill first off I think this is the key part is planning really and just take your time while you're out there just spend time with your composition don't rush about and just just try and visualize scenes and see shapes and leading lines and try and tell a story with your photos but I always think telling a story is quite important if you can tell a story behind the photo I think it just gives it a bit more power and meaning I always I always look at the photos where I put a bit much more effort in to get and I'm always that bit happy with them they're always the fun, more fun ones rather than the ones where I've, it's took less effort where I'm closer to the car 